You too. What's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back for some quick fix videos for you guys on Pentair's great white suction side pool cleaner. We're going to dive in and show you guys how to tear this thing apart. Stay tuned. All right, guys, and we're back. So again, today we're going to do some quick fix videos for you guys on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Great White Suction Side Pool Cleaner. So as you guys can see, I already have the cleaner stripped down pretty much. I've got the shroud and the bumper assembly off. If you guys want to know how I got to this point, make sure you guys check out the links in the description. We've got a playlist there for you guys so that you guys can see how to take it off from the outside in. Uh, today's video, really simple for you guys. Just want to tell you guys how to remove the brush ring as well as the top shroud here that will actually, uh, they call it like the chamber cap that will actually protect the oscillator, which is your main driving function of this cleaner. So really simple. Once you guys have actually followed along, removed the shroud from the outside, the brush ring is simply just kind of pressure fit. So once you guys get that off, you're just gonna lift the brush ring off. Again, all these parts are available for you guys directly on our website. We'll have links below for you guys so you guys can purchase them. Um, these brush rings are very important. This tends to scrub the bottom of the pool floor. It also helps create that, that vacuum, that suction um, to allow the, the water to actually force and push debris up through this main oscillator. So if these are bent and broken and messed up, like it will over time as it brushes around the bottom of your pool, make sure you guys replace this. So it's a, it's a very inexpensive part to make sure that the cleaner is working efficiently overall for you guys. So. Once again, that's real easy to pull off. And then when you're looking at it here, you guys actually have your brush ring gasket around the outside, which will show you guys how to remove in another video. Um, and then here's your top chamber cap here that you're looking at. Located on uh, caddy corner, just like the screws were for our, our main frame to take them off, you're going to actually, these are just pushed in. It's just a pressure fit. It's got a little clip on them. So you're gonna kind of push in on both sides here and then gently lift up and it's gonna take off that whole chamber cap for you. Again, this is very important as it keeps the oscillator uh, free from any debris. It helps keep all of that suction coming up mainly into the hose as well as it is the key part to attach your hoses to your cleaner. So this is where that actual swivel adapter will plug into and allow you to plug your hoses into that. So it's very important that you guys have this on there. You cannot operate the cleaner without it. So. Really simple, just want to show you guys how to take it off. That's going to give you access into all the internal workings. You got your oscillator here and then all of your working gear. So make sure you guys stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. We're going to have more videos coming your way on all the internal workings, but I just want to show you guys how to remove the brush ring as well as that chamber cap. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm Kyle from Me Pool Supply, and we'll see you next time.